Are you finding you're getting more recognised now? Absolutely not, no. I never got recognised. I virtually never get recognised, which is fine by me, because I still get to work all the time, and I get to try and be different every time I'm in front of the camera or on stage, and that's the ideal state of play. I've been around people who are very famous quite a lot in my life, and their life and their work is quite heavily compromised by that. So uh, as long as I can, you know, put Fred Put fridge in the food. I don't know. Put food in the fridge and keep my kids uh, in education. Uh, uh, that's all I need to do. And what was it like working with Vigo? He's a really beautiful, delicate artist of a man. He really is. He's nothing like any other actor I've worked with. You know, our characters are best friends, and I was doing a television show and could only get to Hungary for two little tranches of a week. So he came to Rhode Island where I shoot Brotherhood, and he hung out with me and my family to get to know me so we could create a history between us. When I arrived in Hungary, he gathered some artefacts and he brought me a stone from Auschwitz and bits of music and postcards that he thought would be helpful and useful to me. And he, uh, in fact, when he arrived in Hungary, he said, I want a smaller trailer. I don't want my trailer to be bigger than the other actors. He's a very, very special guy. And that shows in the work, because on set, you feel like your equals collaborating. And that's often not the case with big stars.